Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and my video today is focused on Piaget's concrete operational tasks, specifically the idea of conservation. Piaget is very well known in the educational world. He set out to answer the question of how does a child's knowledge of the world change with age? Piaget came to the conclusion that he believed a child was an active participant in the development of knowledge, constructing his or her own understanding. Piaget suggested that a child goes through four different stages of cognitive development. These four stages consist of sensory and motor, which is birth to 24 months, pre-operational stage, which is 24 months to about age 6, concrete operational stage, which is age 6 to about 12, and finally the formal operation stage, which occurs during the adolescent years. I could talk for hours about Piaget and his research and ideas, but I'm only going to focus on the concrete operational stage and the idea of conservation. Conservation is the understanding that the quantity or amount of a substance remains the same even when there are external changes in its shape or arrangement. Younger children cannot usually consistently solve conservation problems until age 5 or 6 or even later, but this is not the case for all kids, we must keep this in mind. In Piaget's research, he conducted several different conservation tasks and I am going to do a few of them with Emmy who is 4 years old and Vivian who is 6 years old and see what the outcomes are. Piaget classified children's thinking as concrete operational with respect to a particular task if they could correctly solve the problem and provide a concrete operational reason for their answer. If they were unable to provide an explanation for the answer they choose, then they were not classified as concrete operational. We will see how these two youngsters do on the task I present to them and see how they would be classified according to Piaget. Here I have set out some conservation tasks that I will ask the two children that I am trying these tasks on. I have a number task, a mass task, and a liquid task. Hi Vivian. How old are you? Six. Cool. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and you're going to give me an answer and an explanation to your answer. Is that okay? Alright. Now, in these two glasses, is there the same amount of water? Yes. There is? Okay. Now I have another question. If I do this, if I take one glass and I dump it in here, like that, does each glass have the same amount of water? Does that glass and that bowl have the same amount of water in it? No. It doesn't? Why not? No. Yes. Do you think it does or it doesn't? It does. It does? And how come it does? Can you tell me why? No. No? I don't know. You don't know why, but you think it's the same? Yeah. All right. All right, Vivian. Do these two balls of clay have the same amount? Yes. They do? Yes. All right. Now, what if I take one of these and I smash it down like a pancake? Do both of these objects have the same amount of clay, or does one have more? What do you think? You think so? Which one? No. No? You don't think one has more? No. How come? No. You can't tell me why? No, it's hard. It's hard? Yes. Alright. Alright, Vivian, here's our last conservation task. This is a number task. Alright, are there the same amount of pennies in each row? Yes. Yes? There's six in each row? Okay. No. Okay, yep. if I do this, is there still the same amount of pennies in each row? No. No? How come? Wait, yes. You think yes? Do you know why? Are there still the same amount of pennies? Yes. What I do? I just spread them out. Good job, Vivian. Can you say bye? Bye. Thank you for doing this for me. Yep. Hi, Emmy. How old are you? You're four? Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? And I want you to answer them to the best of your ability. Is that all right with you? <laughs> all right, cool. All right, is there the same amount of water in each of these glasses in front of you? There is? Okay, if I take one of these glasses and I pour it out into this bowl 
like that. Is there the same amount of water in this cup as there is in that bowl? There is. How come? You don't know why? Do you think one has more? Does one of those have more water? That one has more water in it? And why do you think that? You don't know why? How come, how come that one has more water? Tell me. How come you think that one has more water? Is it because it's taller? You think so? Alright. Alright, Emmy. Here we're under our second task. This is a mass conservation question for Emmy. Alright, is there the same amount of clay in both of these balls? There is? Alright. So, if I come over here and I make one of these kind of look like a pancake like this, is there still the same amount of clay in both those, or is one bigger? One bigger. Which one's bigger? That one? Why do you think that? <laughs> How come you think it's bigger? It's bigger than the flat one? You think so? Is it because it's taller? Is that why you think that? All right, awesome. All right, Emmy, here's our last conservation task. All right, is there the same amount of pennies in both of those rows? Can you count them for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there's, there's the same amount of pennies in both rows, right? There's six in each row? Okay, now if I come down here and I do this, Is there the same amount of pennies in each row, or does one row have more? One row has more. Which one? How come that has more? Because... How come? Why do you think it has more? Tell me. How come you picked that one to have more pennies in it? Because... Is it because it's longer? Is that why you picked that one? It's longer than the other one? All right. Thank you so much, Emmy. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. All right, here's a chart of the tasks I just presented on the two children in my video. Again, one was six, which was the first one, Vivian, and one was four, which was Emmy. Uh, the only task I did not do was the weight task. Both of these children would be considered not classified as concrete operational. Um, Vivian would not be classified because she was not able to explain why she chose the answer. She had the right answer for most of them the second time when she thought about it, but she was not able to explain why. Emmy is your typical four-year-old. She was not able to distinguish between the idea that the amount doesn't change when the shape or whatever does change, even if it's the same amount in both. Um, again, this stage doesn't usually take place until they turn six or seven, so Vivian's right on board, and Emmy, she's, she's getting there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Thank you.